Hey guys, welcome back to Faith for Keto Kitchen where we make keto delicious. So today we're gonna make some pizza. Yes, pizza on a ketogenic diet. Go figure. But the cool thing is, it's made with the fathead pizza dough. And what that is, is a dough that's made with cream cheese, some almond flour, and some mozzarella cheese. That simple, and a few herbs and spices. So let's get started, guys. So what you're gonna have here is two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. You're gonna have two tablespoons of your cream cheese. I like to use Philadelphia cream cheese, the full fat cream cheese, because it tastes better to me, but you can use whatever cream cheese you have. You're gonna need a cup of the almond flour, one egg, and about a teaspoon or to a half, well, half teaspoon to a teaspoon of basil leaves or oregano, or you can use Italian spice mix. I just happen to have basil right now on me, so that's what I'm gonna use. So first you take that cream cheese and that mozzarella cheese, pop it in the microwave for about one minute, 30 seconds to one minute. Take it out, get it nice and stirred up. So I'm gonna take it to the microwave right now and I'll be right back. Okay, so it took about 30 seconds so far. And if I, ooh, okay, cream cheese. <laughs> so it took about 30 seconds and um, I'm gonna check it and see. Oh yeah, okay, it got creamy. So to get nice and melty, if I hadn't said already, guys, preheat your oven to 425 degrees and then get yourself a baking sheet and line it with some parchment paper. But I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. So it's almost melty. See that? You don't want it too, too hot because you're going to put an egg in there. You don't want the egg to cook, cook in there. So let's get our basil. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a half a teaspoon today. I don't want it too basil-y, if that's a word. I'm sure it is. Let me know if it's a word. Let me see. Yeah. So get it nice and creamy and stir it up. Ah. So what you're doing is combining that cream cheese and that mozzarella cheese. Kind of like making a dough. And then you want to make sure as you stir it, it's going to cool down some so that when you put your egg in, it doesn't cook. Let me see. Go ahead and put that egg in there, guys. Stir it up. So let me know, guys, what is your favorite topping on your pizza? I kind of just like plain, sometimes I like mushrooms on my pizza too, but for the most part, I'll eat a plain pizza, and I used to eat a lot of vegetarian pizza, so. But get that all stirred up some. We're going to add our almond flour. That was one cup of almond flour. Get that all stirred in there. I like to do steps because it kind of helps things uh, combine better when you're doing steps. Now you got to really use your muscle because it starts to form like an actual dough, which is, is I guess, considered a keto dough. So yeah, get that stirred up. So once you get it all stirred up, nice and incorporated, it'll get thick, okay? And you're going to take yourself a piece of parchment paper. Here, let me move this to the side. Get all this stuff off the way. You're gonna line a cookie sheet with, or a baking sheet with some parchment paper, but you're gonna take an additional parchment paper first. Put that down. I like to do it this way. Everyone does it differently, but for me, this just makes it easier. So I put the dough down first and I'll put a piece of um, parchment paper on top and roll it out that way so that you don't have to have your hands all sticky and stuff, you know? Makes it so much easier. So let's do that. Get all that new. Good thing about this dough, it doesn't spike your blood sugar just like how um, regular flours do. That's why I love this. And sometimes I'll make this in the air fryer I have a little mini pan, like kind of like those, um, let me move that over here, those mini uh, pizza pans, like the little tiny ones like that, single serving ones. I'll make, this will make two of those if you split it in half in an air fryer. I, you guys know I love my air fryer. Let me shape that. This is gonna be a square pizza or a rectangle of pizza. So you guys know I love my air fryer. So I actually experimented with the air fryer and I made two delicious deep dish mini pizzas. So amazing, they come out perfect in the air fryer. So give that a try. It's really cool. I love doing that. Especially when we're just uh, 
You know, you sometimes you watch your own pizza, you don't want it all cut up. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna get this nice and even. Roll that out into a rectangle. We're gonna do a rectangle today because I'm gonna just use my square pen or my rectangle pen. So let's roll that out. Okay guys, so we have it all rolled out to the size that we like. I like it about, I like it about quarter inch thick. You know, you can do a thin piece of, either way, take off that parchment paper that you use to roll it out. Look how nice that looks. Perfect piece of shape. What we're gonna do is now bake this in the oven at 425 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. And when you bake it, first of all, put it in, and it, sometimes it'll kind of like puff up. So you want to peek in there and look at it, maybe halfway in, and then poke some holes in it again. So we'll start with poking a few holes in it now. Then we'll bake it halfway through once it get brown. We're going to flip it over on the parchment paper, and then we'll pull it back out and we'll put our toppings on. So we'll be right back to do that, okay? Okay, so we're back now, and I, what I did was I took the pizza dough, I got additional um, piece of parchment paper, and I flipped it over because you, it gets crispy kind of on the top. And see, so that's what it looks like. It gets crispy, so I had to flip it over another parchment paper, so this is a fresh piece. Now we have it on the other side, and it's already like a dough. Amazing. So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to keep it simple because I'm making this one for my daughter, who is the photographer right now <laughs> so we're just gonna do a plain cheese pizza I found this uh, it's called Del Grasso um, I had never tried it before but it has minimal sugars in it so it's not real sugar the sugar is from the actual tomato so it's made with pure ingredients like plum tomato crushed tomatoes olive oil onion powder garlic powder basil oregano and black pepper so pretty clean pretty cut and dry and the carbs are four carbs and one dietary fiber. The two sugars are from the tomatoes pretty much because these tomatoes are sweet and it's, it's from Italy. So hey, I know a lot of people use other brands out there. Just try to find yourself a tomato or a pizza sauce that has no sugar in it basically, no added sugar. So we're gonna put a minimal amount of sauce because well, she doesn't like a lot of sauce. And technically I don't either like a lot of sauce on my pizza. Being from New York, you know, pizzas don't have a bunch of sauce on it. The pizzerias that I went to, and they're so tasty out there. I so miss New York, guys. I'm in Vegas right now, and I have not yet to find a pizza place out here that tastes the same, like tastes authentic, like New York. And if you guys know of one, let me know. Comment below. Tell me where I can, if you live out here in Vegas, or if you visit and happen to find one, because so far, I haven't found one yet. So I like the light sauce, and what I like to do is have some sauce on the side if I want to dip it or something like that or add additional. So do it like that. And you can put as much sauce as you like. With these uh, fat head pizza dough, you can um, add anything you want on it. It pretty much holds up to any type of topping. That's what's so cool about this, you know? So there you go, do a little light sauce, which is technically traditional, really. Then we're gonna try some uh, sharp, well actually this is uh, Parmesan, shredded Parmesan or grated Parmesan cheese, the real stuff, not the shaky stuff. Even though you can have that, it's cool, but we're gonna add a little bit of that because it gives it that nice little bite. And that's about, I don't know if we're gonna add, well, we'll probably add the whole thing. <laughs> Why not? We're gonna add that. I mean, this is really good. And this is so good already. The heat from the crust and from the dough is like really heating up that sauce. It's permeating, oh, this whole household smells so good right now. Yummy. So we'll do that. So get all that on there. And believe it or not, guys, half of this, this is only two servings. So you can eat the whole half a pizza. Amazing, so delicious, and it's good for the keto diet. And it's super easy to make, guys. You see how easy that was? I love this pizza. And I'm gonna be uploading some more uh, recipes with this dough with a sweet version. So like, you know how at the um, pizzerias you can get that cinnamon uh, sticks and stuff from the pizza dough they make? I'm gonna make that for you guys next. I think I'm gonna do that. Here you go. Maybe that'll be in the next test kitchen. Because I haven't done it yet. So what we're going to do is take this pizza, put it back in the oven, and let it cook for about maybe 5 to 10 more minutes until everything gets melted. And then we'll come right back and try it. So let me go do that. See you in a sec. Okay, guys, so we're back and the pizza's ready. Look at this gorgeousness. Oh, my gosh. It looks so good. It smells amazing. I took it off the, I took it off the pan 
put the parchment paper here. It's easy to slide off. This is why I love the use of parchment paper. So let's cut and dig into this. I think I'm going to cut it into, let's do eight, eight squares. Because traditionally, I mean, that's how I like my pizza from back east. But actually, I might cut it into smaller pair squares. And you know what? One thing about this pizza, you can have it with a side salad, which is be round off your meal. You can have this on its own, of course. I like to put uh, red pepper flakes on it, crushed red pepper flakes, to give it a little bit of kick. So we're going to, I think I want this one right here. I normally like the end piece, but there's some crust right there going on. So I'm going to try this. Let me get my red pepper flakes on first. Oh gosh, this, this just tastes just like regular pizza. So one thing about this fathead pizza, you won't miss real pizza per se. You won't miss the additional carbs. You know, this is super low carbs with just basically cheese and the almond flour has low carbs. I think you'll really, really like this pizza. Let's see how it turned out first though. Man. I'm saying, this pizza, hot tooth. So tasty. It just tastes like regular pizza, guys. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with this. I've made this for parties at my home. People didn't even know it was keto. They were just like, oh, this pizza's great. You can't tell the difference. So definitely give this one a try. Let me know if you like this video. Hit the like button. And also subscribe, guys, so that you can get more notifications when you hit that bell, okay? So do that and I think I'm gonna sign out now and finish this pizza because it's too good to be talking. So I'll talk to you later guys. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.